We just finished all the van paneling and the window frames. Here's how it all went down. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back at the build today and we got good news, we got bad news, we got whatever news, we got more bad news. Some of you guys might not know that our van recent, our original van, Rue, the OG, uh, uh, recently burnt down in a house fire that transferred over to the van in the parking lot. The other bad news is that CRL responded that our window did have a manufacturer, a defect, and then they were like, the window's back ordered till for like another two months so you're gonna have to be put on the list again. We're like, what? You make us wait five or six months for a window, you give us a broken one, and then you want us to go on the back of the list? Like, what, what, what type of customer service is that? It's terrible. Good news, we got our second window in. Bad news is we sprayed the... <laughs> I think this is more bad news than good news. We sprayed it just like the first one, and it still has the same like little holes. We ran some more tests, being with the current situation, I don't think we're gonna do the, we're gonna make it to 30 days and finish this build because now we're working in the old van and like having to split our days and do stuff with that. We don't have like full days anymore. I don't know. It's already like noon and we're just starting on this build today, but whatever. I'm just gonna go through the days anyway. This is what we're looking at with the window. This is the passenger side window. And the other window, it's only a big spot at the top. This one's kind of split, like with a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. So we see it coming in, right? But it's running through the channel, which we think is designed for this. No, we know this channel. Oh, that's a whoo. It, it's going through the channel and then it's, it's draining on the outside through these little holes. So the only thing we're a little bit worried about is if it does rain super hard, the like, the splash splash but the channel is working properly so i think we're just gonna send it yeah we're just gonna send it i mean it, how could they send two that are not right i feel like it partially has to just be like that i mean maybe not maybe it's just they're just screwing them all up because they have so many to make and they're not making them right we kept our uh, the template from the first window hopefully it works get off that like a glove that saves us 30 minutes Remember, the other side, we kind of moved a little bit. So we're gonna be measuring it a little bit different. This line right here is pretty much where the whole part is. So we're just gonna do it straight from the outside on the other side to get it as close as possible to what this one looks like. I think, dang, dang. It was approximate two and three quarter. I would want to double check it. Okay, but bring it. Bring what? The, the tape that you have all on, what do you want? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, right you there. want the ruler you're saying? Here. Two and three quarters? Every time. You never listen to me. Never. Just never. Stay there. I'm not gonna stay there. I guess what's throwing us off is a ring. Yeah, look, right there the ring will go. That's good? I think so. It looks like the back slightly has to come up a little bit more. Like like a little like a just a hair. Like the tilt. Help? Yeah, but you come look at it too. We're good to go. Chase is making his nice little outline. Confident, huh? Looks pretty wonky, Jason. What's wonky about it, Bianca? The bottom. It doesn't matter. Are you sure? Yeah, look at the, the cardboard. Look at that reflection, though. That paint job. It's game time. This one? Nah. Nah. Under attack. Sky's going black. We're taped off and ready to rumble. Say goodbye to that ugly wall. Oh, you missed. Where are your glasses? Woo! Watch the metal flaky slate. The deal the window paint is not dry yet 
So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and start putting on the side panels again. Probably go up to the window, just in case CRL does decide to email us back and not wait, make us wait another three months for the window, you know, but wishful thinking. Or we might just say screw it and go all the way up, who knows? Uh, I don't know anymore. We actually already cut the first piece when we were doing the, uh, the front ones for the bench. Oh, I didn't blow this part. Well, I got it. It's not doing a great job. This guy goes like in here. Ooh, we got one down. All right, so windows are uh, leak-ish proof. They got. <laughs> They got the normal drain leaks. There's nothing coming from the actual seal that we installed, cut the hole. No water there. It's only coming what catches in that little drip tray and then it quickly drains out. So, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Back to the pallets. The pallets. The pallet. <laughs> Back to the panels. Okay. On the wrong side, loose with the burden desire. all time we got a 12 volt cigarette lighter and then we got the USB charger which go into a little plate like so the panels aren't quite big enough for it to go up and down it's just a little bit too tight can't go any higher so we're gonna put it here we are doing the USB and the outlet because Jason said in case we have to blow up an air mattress out of the back or we'll have to use <laughs> or we have to use the the uh, cigarette lighter for something we have at least one in the back just in case, you know, in case we want to have somebody picnic outside with the air mattress. An air pump. Fill up your tires. Oh, then we can fill it up the, the tires in the back. You know, I need to keep him around for a reason. He's kind of smart. Jason doesn't think I'm going to be able to paint the van. You want this lady? Do you want this like this? <laughs> Is that too close? Maybe a little bit lower? Or you think, what do you think? Yeah, because any other pin is going to go a little bit lower. Maybe like, like that. <laughs> Oh yeah! Doing a little jump jump here. Now you only have to run one, right? We only have one, we have the one 12 volt ran. Yep. And it'll supply power for both. Yep. Wow. The red goes to the red and the black goes to the black. Bye bye. I don't like flames in the van. Traumatized. We were using 12 footers, but now we gotta little, have a little eight footer here action. Eight footer. Jason, lower the globe, let's go. We're not gonna lower finish in an hour. With these pants, our goal for the day, our goal for the rest of this day, day 28, is to get all these panels. I know, easy we didn't day. start till 12, that's what I'm saying. And we took an easy day, we didn't, we weren't rushing. But I feel like we can't do another half day, the people are going to think we're lying for sure. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to think we're lying, but we're not lying, so... Whether we finish early or not today, day 28 is going to be a day 28. Can you measure so okay. Can what is this? Use an 8 footer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, okay. What? Let's see if we can use a 12 footer. We're going to go to the other side because this side, we got to put this 110 box here and uh, it only can go, it can only go where it's all the way against the wall but then there's nowhere to mount it and it's just breaking our brains so it's too late in the day for us complications. yeah some some slight complications so we're just gonna go to the other side and just wing it yeah i'm tired unless we uh share it like that which Hi. i don't like i don't like that that's ugly that's not happening it's hitting the back and it's gonna be sticking out too much. So we have to go swap those for shallows. <laughs> We're not gonna last much longer today. <laughs> it's getting hot in Florida. Whoa, through the van. This is a 
a tricky cut because the butcher block raises a little bit higher than where our bed is. So you got to make a cut out and then slice off and rip the rip 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 the bottom. A rip. So that way the panel flows seamlessly. Wow. So you know who measured? I did. Who measured though? I did. The difference here should drop us down. This line is perfect. I think just right, right here, we could shimmy a little bit off. We got the three panels down. We're just gonna call it for the day. We're tired, but uh, we'll we'll pick it up. Welcome back to day 29. We are almost there, guys, and we have so much stuff to do today. Good, good news. Good news for once. We got the little electrical boxes. They look like this. Hey, hey. I like it, getting right to work. We're just gonna tackle the hard stuff first and do the electrical on the driver's side, and then from there we can just put up the panels. The passenger side, we decided to go a different route. Instead of putting it on the wall because we have to like fabricate something, we're just gonna put it in our switch panel area on the kitchenette, and that way that's already ran and everything. Jason might have just had a solution for once. For once? For once. He usually finds the problems, but I think he might have found the solution. We're trying to booby trap this up there. Instead of doing that, we think it might work because our, our shiplap is kind of thick. If we just cut out the hole directly in the shiplap, which we have to do anyway, and then we countersink these into the shiplap, and then the cover is just going to cover the holes anyway. So that might solve all of our problems. The hole needs to be this. And he goes there. Like a blanket. Yep. What you doing? Wow, that's nice drawing. I don't know what it is about the router, but it always smells like s'mores to me. Does, you not smell that? It's the wood. You think? It's the, I don't know. I feel like every time we take the router out, it just smells like s'mores. There she go. Flush. You just need to sand, sand this a little bit. Flush. All right. Ah. Yeah, girl. We got it. That was the hardest part. These wires are along the window, so we're good to go. The rest of the paneling is just slicing and putting up, so we are going to get this done. The panels are done. Well, except for one piece up here. But check it out. Oh yeah. And don't worry, don't worry. Things will get finished and you know, finishing touches. Boom, we got this little side too. Quarter round up there so everything will look real, real spot on. We aren't sure what we're gonna do at this little area right here. We have the white border that we have inside the cabinets but we don't really like it to be a showpiece, so we're not sure how we're going to kind of like box this off yet maybe, or something like that. But it's kind of busting our brains a little bit too much right now and we're not, well, let me correct. Jason's not in the mood to deal with it, so we're gonna move on to something else. Yeah, blame everything He's, on me. I mean, you're not in, I don't even think we have enough wood for the window frames, what? So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do right now. It's only like two o'clock, so we have like five hours left. We could get potentially all of this done and only have finishing touches left for day 30 and painting. But this is what I'm dealing with. This is why we won't get anything done. Moving on to the window frames. We might not even have enough for one. We're gonna have to do a store run, but we just gotta start. These are a little bit more square, so we should be able to just square them off. We'll see how that goes. We're gonna have to rip the shit out of this one to make it flush in the back end. Rip the shit out of it. Ow! Alright, we need to measure the inter inserts, insides now. Okay, there, wow, that's a nice little window seal. Ten and a quarter? Ten and a quarter and a one line. <laughs> like a blanket. There we go. She's done. You're out of ideas. Super sketch. That's pretty damn good. You know who measured that? I did. So that's gotta be a quarter inch 
all the way down to zero. We're just gonna what? You're gonna jigsaw this one? Just taper it off. This window's nice. You can see what's going on outside. The finishing spirits are low. I feel like there's so little bit left, but at the same time, there's so much left. I'm good over here. I'm good over here. We got this window shit down packed. One more. We're choosing to use wood glue and nails. Ta-da! Jason's favorite thing, some wood glues. Oh my god. Ta-da! <laughs> We're just super lucky and um, yeah, this Home Depot doesn't have the one by threes in stock that we need. So we have to go to another Home Depot now, which means we're probably done working for the day because it's going to be dark. Sick, dude. Yeah, dude. Not for nothing, but it's looking, uh, you know, it's looking pretty freaking solid. This is a sick vlogging setup right here. What's up, guys? We're on the first road trip in the van. Not yet, but we're almost there. We are almost there. You guys probably think the van looks like shit right now. Not not in general, but like all the little things look like shit. But don't worry because we know where it's gonna be once all the little final touches and the quarter round and all everything's white and everything is cocked and all in place. Like we see where it's gonna be and just don't worry, okay? Not that you're worried, but just don't worry. All right? You had to turn the air back on. Almost done, but getting chewed up by mosquitoes. We're calling it. Welcome back to day 30. Jason is ready to work. I've already done more today than you've done. The whole van build, actually. Oh. It's already mid-afternoon. We actually just came back from doing a little, like, spray paint sanding on Rue. All we left off on the paneling and these windows frames was just the outer part of the frames. So we're just going to knock that out real quick, and we're not going to... Shh. This is not... This is still day 29. With different clothes. With different clothes and a different light atmosphere. Or a different day. But it's still day 29. <laughs> no, it's day 30. It's day 30. <laughs> we are going to measure inside to inside and then add five inches because inner pieces are five, two and a half inches each. So the top piece go past the side pieces and then they'll come in here like this and those top and bottom pieces will end at the end of these. Now I just gotta get Jason to, to get up and actually work because... Jason? Are you ready? Yep. This should only take us 15 minutes. <laughs> 33 and a half. Wow! Things are going in our favor for once. These are square frame boxes, so we can do four at 38 and a half and have our tops and bottoms for both sides. Why are you so excited? Because nothing usually works out that easy. Can you go cut it now? Measure the other one. Oh, so then we can forget all the measurements. Yeah. 10 and a quarter, right? And one line. Of course. We're a few inches shy of the last piece. So we have seven out of the eight pieces we need for the two frames. We are gonna construct these on the outside of the van so that way we could use some wood glue and some nails and then the whole piece, the whole frame will go as one unit into the window and then nailed into the side panels. Your favorite, start wood gluing. So much glue. What? Okay, our first window frame. For Actually, our first back window frame. This is a lot easier when they're square like this. Boom. This one actually fits pretty nice. We had a quick boo-boo. We had to swap out this panel and, and lower the uh, outlet because it was hitting. Window seal is complete. 
Remember this. A window seal. What, do you what is it then? It would be a window sill or a window frame, not a window seal. Okay, so make fun of me because I don't speak I'm like you. The frame is done. We'll probably end up adding this like same little corner pieces just to make it a little bit finisher of a touch. All the nails will be covered up and all that when it's painted. So no need to worry about that. And then we'll, we're going to do the same thing for this side. But remember, we're missing that one last piece of wood. So we have to go pick it up and then we'll just wrap that side up. And then all the paneling is done. On that note, we are going to end this episode of the 30 Day Van Build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tune in for next week because I think we're going to be on day 30 finishing touches. So we are wrapping it all up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Throw a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Later. Next time on the 30 Day Van Build. This is